haven't made a video for a really long time. I just wanted to uh, do a quick video of a problem that I've been having. And uh, I think I finally solved it. I've been having an issue with not getting spark and it's just uh, comes and goes. Uh, it'll, it'll be fine some days and the next day it just won't have any spark at all. I, I finally got the I've figured it out, I think. Uh, let me get the camera turned around, set up, and uh, I'll show you what I've what I figured out. Okay, so you can see here that the ECU is not grounded in any way. It's just kind of hanging here. Uh, it's not touching anything. It's not grounded. So with the battery cable on and everything, the key's on. Uh, just, well, I'll show you. keys on if I take my test light you touch the case it lights up and if I touch it lights up so it's not grounded all right so now I got a little test wire hooked to my ground side of the battery and I'm gonna use this to ground it out so you can see there stick it right here no light it's grounded if I try to do this with one hand if I take this off now it's not grounded again I'm just going to try to leave this in here. Okay, you can see there. The light is on. It's not grounded. Grounded out, the light goes off. So the, the, the way I found this was I... I don't even remember how I found it or why I found it, but I noticed that every time I... Consistently, every time I was not getting spark... This center here was hot. And uh, I would go and I would wiggle this connector and then it would go away and it would start up. So this whole time I thought it was this connector and I've been you know searching the wires and trying to figure out what was losing connection that this that this would happen. And then I don't I was just messing around and I figured out that this right here was hot too and then i remembered uh dale uh from for everybody's only was telling me that if the case was not grounded that it would be hot it would have juice and so then i made the connection that when this is hot this is also hot so that it had to be a ground so i pulled it i took a wire grounded it out through the bolt and then sure enough it went away and it started right up uh, you can see this is where I had the ECU mounted it's bare metal I'm just not I'm not sure why it's not connecting it's not grounded I don't have any of the star washers lock washers so what I'm gonna try to do for now is I'm gonna use one of these kind of lock washers and try to get it grounded out uh, let me get it hooked up and I will uh, see if it works okay I got the battery disconnected and uh, I'm going to hook this thing back up so I'm just going to take and put the lock washer on the back side and hopefully this will dig into the metal enough that it will ground it on both sides Then we'll get some of the uh, the star lock washers and replace this. This is just kind of temporary to see if it helps. It's a pretty big gap in between the 
ECU and the, the inner fender. I didn't even think of that. Well, let's lock it down. We'll try it anyway. Let me go get my wrench. I just got a 7 16 and I'm putting a nut on the back of it. That's tight. Let's check and see if it's ground. I'm just gonna put it. Sorry, the camera works bad. It's hard to do this with one hand. Battery cable on. No light. All right. Oops, crap. Okay, so now everything's hooked up. Let's try to start it. Put the battery cable back on. Key's still on. You touch it with that it kills the engine so if this is not grounded ah sorry making work if this is not grounded it won't start all right thanks for watching